Ah. So this is the cretin who decided to step in front of my carriage. Captain, why does this criminal have ketchup covering his head? Then you did not think to clean him up before presenting him before me. It does not matter if you intended to appear before me in such a state. If you didn't want to be kicked and injured, you should not have stood in the path of my darling sweet Snow while she was confused and running around. Her hooves are now covered in your ketchup. You're lucky you did not stain her beautiful white hair, or you would be receiving a far harsher punishment. Is the punishment not obvious enough, Captain? It is the same as the carriage driver who allowed my darling horses to be spooked. And, in fact, you as well for the idiotic way you have been speaking to me. Guards... Arrest your former foolish peers, and take both of them to the gallows to await the executioner. Off with their heads! <sighs> Ugh. What a headache. My dear advisor, is that you? Oh, you should have shown yourself sooner. I thought I was going to burst a blood vessel dealing with those riffraff. Your presence would have soothed me. Reveal yourself instantly next time. That is an order. I do not care if it appears you are interrupting my orders. As you have always said, I am the one who decides the fates of all those in my kingdom. Do I not? No one can object to you interjecting if I do not. As my dear advisor, your status alone should silence all their complaints. Only someone as intelligent and authoritative as yourself can stand above them, other than myself. I am exhausted. This is the fifth time this week I have had to remove a captain. This one only lasted for four hours. I'm going to run out of guards to a point at this rate. I've already run out of ones that are actually qualified for the position. Mama and Papa's captain of the Royal Guard was so faithful to them. Why is it so hard to find folks who will be loyal and not question my authority? <sighs> I suppose that is true. Even he was not as faithful as he appeared. If you had not exposed his villainy to me, he would likely still be in a position of power. Perhaps he would have enacted his plan by now and attempted to assassinate me and steal my throne. Speaking of which, did you look into that matter that was perplexing you? It pained me to see the anguish on your face when you told me about your concerns of another attempted uprising. If only my subjects were more loyal, you would not have to go through such agonies to stop those fools from rushing the palace gates. You should really take a break. Well, none are as talented as you, of course, and I must admit I would prefer if you remained in the kingdom... I should be able to trust the team of lower advisors to handle your... Are you certain? I would pay for any and all expenses for whatever you wish to do. Very well, then. Can you tell me what you have found? That Viscount... His daughter was the one who spilled wine on you during the last gala, correct? I thought it was merely an accident at the time, but could it actually have been part of a plot? How fortunate you talked to me into a month of daily whippings instead of beheading. She can be interrogated. I shall send word to... You? My dear advisor... 
As wise as you are, I would advise against interrogating her yourself. The jails are grotesque, full of waste and lacking sunlight. Hardly the place someone as glorious as yourself should go. Please, allow me to handle this burden. I am still unsatisfied with how lightly she got off from embarrassing you. If you're certain. <sighs> Come here. I needed your warmth. You are the only one in this wretched kingdom I can trust. When Mama and Papa were in charge, none of them thought of trying to shame me by throwing wine on my court officials at my own ball, or spooking my horses in an attempt to have me thrown from my carriage, or tried to suffocate me with my corset, or plant foreign flowers to poison me by air, or change the menu to make me sick right after my parents passed. Did my parents have to deal with this their entire lives, considering if every blunder was an attempt on their safety? Is the stress what killed them? Did they pass so early because they could not take it anymore? Are you sure it wasn't an assassination? You're certain you overlooked nothing when examining the circumstances, right? Right? Of course I trust you. You would never betray me. In a kingdom full of miscreants, you are the only one who has faithfully been by my side. If it weren't for you, I wouldn't have even realised how many threats to my life were going on. It feels like there's a new threat every day. No, every hour now. I must call the council together. I need to instain more protections. Bring forward the curfew. Station more guards around the castle. It doesn't matter. I... I can call in more guards from the towns. They don't need that much protection. If anything, it'll be good for the riffraff to have to deal with the fear they try to make me feel. So it makes them think twice. I can trust you to handle that order. Correct? Thank you, my dear advisor. I would be so lost without you. Your guidance keeps me steady. Your presence by my side allows me to know I'm doing the right thing. Your smile is my only source of comfort. What can I get for you if a vacation is not what you desire? A vineyard? Some more lands? A castle? Tell me whatever it is you desire and I shall have it delivered to you post-haste. More books. My dear advisor, you always ask for so little. Tell my attendants what books you long for, and I shall have them spare no cost in finding them. <laughs> no book is forbidden for you. You should know by now that no law may restrict you. If I could, I would give you the whole world. Nay, the whole world, and whatever lies beyond it. <laughs> if only I could give you my crown. Mama and Papa's ghosts would drag me to hell itself if I did something so foolish. <sighs> Your sense of humour never fails to make me smile. <clears throat> If you have no pressing duties this afternoon, will you join me for drinks? A merchant I recently executed failed to give a next of kin, so his stock is still within the castle. He has some very nice rare vintages I would like to taste. I was considering convening the council in order to curry favour, but I feel like they would be better spent, drunk by you and I, in my quarters. I look forward to seeing you then. My dear advisor, keep your head held high.
even if all the living and all the dead are against me, I shall always reward your loyalty. Thank you for listening to my ASMR roleplay. If you liked this video, please make sure to leave a like, and comment about what you liked best. Oh, and please subscribe if you'd like to see more. If you'd like to listen to more right away, I have a playlist dedicated to all my ASMRs for you to choose from. Please consider supporting me on my Ko-fi, and thank you to those who already have such as Wilson and Deathkill Project, and to those who have supported me with super thanks, such as Killmore Combined Zero. I hope you all have a wonderful day or night, wherever you are.